Hawaii. Now, Hawaii, mahalo, aloha. Everybody know I got a thing for Hawaii. I did a video about this group called Coming Kings. Coming King can say anything to anybody, anytime and where. But people were saying, Josh, you got to listen to J-Bug, J-Who, J-Bug, J-Bull, J-B-double-O-G, G like good, G like gangster, G like gosh. If a pirate was trying to talk, J-Bug got a song. I don't even know the song called, but I know it goes, nice to nice to know ya, let's do it again. The brush swagger on that song is so fire. The man is talking about having a one night stand, want to be more than your man. But we had a one night stand, and I like the one night stand with you. J Boog got the kind of rhythm, got the kind of vibe that'll make a woman think, you know what? We can get married, we can have kids, we can have a nice house, a long life, or we can have a one night stand. A one night stand sound way better than marriage right now. J Boog is the kind of artist you want to get to perform everywhere. Can he perform in stadiums? Yes, stadiums with no proof. Will he perform at a school, high school, elementary school, colleges? No problem. Josh, all I can afford is my car. Listen, J Boog will come out the trunk of the car like a coolio video, and it's nice to nice to know ya. Let's do it again. This is the thing about all musicians from Hawaii. The musicians from Hawaii are like double threats. Nah, they like triple threats. They like Gensu knives. Musicians from Hawaii, they like hummers with convertible tops. Imagine a hummer with a convertible top. First of all, you a hummer. You can go anywhere you want to do. go. You masculine. Everybody going to respect you when you walk into the party. But then you get a girl in your car, you take the top off, and now you a big dog with no roof. But when it starts raining, you putting the top back on like Pele Pele. I did not take the rocks. Artists from Hawaii, they can play the guitar, they can play the ukulele, they can sing. When they feel like they can rap. I'm going to tell you the most troubling thing about Jay Boog, in my opinion, though. You know how women be telling men, if you want you two women, get you a woman with curly hair. Her hair could be curly in the morning and straight in the evening. Jay Boog is that triple threat. Homie light skin. Homie got an exotic Samoan, Polynesian, Hawaiian look to him. Homie got dreads. Homie got tattoos. So at any given time, she could be with a dude that do CrossFit. She could be with a dude that fight good. She could be with a dude that rolled a loud as a weed and I don't smoke, so I'm going to be intimidated already. And then she with a dude that's the color of the sun. If the sun had a baby with the moon, he spit out Jay Book on the islands of Hawaii. It's unfair. So if Common Kings were the Hawaiian Wu-Tang Clan, Jay Boog would definitely be the island's Drake. I'm telling you now, Hawaii, do not let us take y'all artists and celebrate him before y'all put him on a pedestal that's higher than a giraffe's ass. Homie deserves to be on one of them volcanoes and be respected with Pele Pele. I'm telling you right now, I know things about things. J Boog is not up next, he's already on. It's nice to nice to know ya, let's do it again.